All right, so here is the car we call the Coyote. Um, I call it a Coyote because it has a Coyote power plant in it um, out of the newer Mustangs. Um, this is a Gen 2 Coyote um, powered by two 6266 Precision Turbos. It is a bad, fast street car. It's an 89 Fox body, your typical Fox body. It's got roll up windows. It is a trunk car. It has steel fenders. It has all the glass in it, it has a steel roof still has mirrors has a stereo this thing is pretty cool it has a holly dominator on it no traction control when i first started came onto the scene and made my car big tire car all them guys were running traction control and in my opinion just slowed them down i got josh gill working the computer he's handling the power management between me and josh we've done a great job this year you know it's my job to drive and beat people and uh it's his job to make sure this thing goes down every road so uh Hats off to Josh, he did his job this year with uh, no traction control. It has the Holly intake on it, ID 1300 injectors for my injector dynamics. It is on E85. Other than that, this thing's power, it's got, a, it's got a power glide in it. Sonic's got some good parts in it. Sonic's always hooks me up on the power glide stuff. They build the best power glide stuff out there. So it's got a Sonic's power glide in it. It still has the stock 8.8 .8 rear end and it's got 411 gears. So this is the car that we're racing on the Daily Driver Extreme or however you want to call these cars. Um, we were racing No Prep Kings and we started talking about it and look, the old show just wasn't working and we just needed to go back to our roots. And so some of us have small tire cars. I have a black coupe just like this, small tire, small block Ford, big single 80, 88 millimeter turbo. Problem is that car's not drivable. I can't drive that car on the street. Had to figure out something. Um, this car here was built by Sean Kelly and his dad out in Virginia Beach. Sean lost interest in it when his dad passed away. Sorry about that, Sean. Um, and he decided to get rid of the car. So it's kind of cool that uh, I ended up with the car. My buddy Josh Gill found it in Texas. Um, nothing had been done to it really. I bought it from Josh Gill. So uh, the only thing we really did was just play with it a little bit. Josh wrapped the fenders to make it match the rest of the car. I kind of love the color. And what's also cool about that, you know, as you guys are watching Street Outlaws, this car is obviously fast. This car runs good, you know, so it goes to show you, you know, everybody wants to LS swap the world. Well, guess what? I want a Coyote swap the world. It's a stock block, you know and it's stock heads and stuff. So uh, this thing is pretty cool, pretty fast. As you're watching already on TV, this thing is kicking ass. So uh, I invited Sean Kelly out to filming this year so he could see what him and his dad built together and what he could see it in person. So he stayed for three or four episodes. He came out for one episode, ended up staying for four episodes. So uh, Sean Kelly from Virginia Beach built a badass car. You know, we didn't have time to build a whole car. So the only thing I really did was I changed up all the suspension. It had a, a bracket radial on it. I put slicks on it, 28105 slick. Uh, still has the same wheels and tires. I put Santuff struts on the front. My springs off the death trap. I put Santuff shocks in the back. We added some weight where weight needed to be added and we made the car work on the street. I spent a bunch of money on the suspension, but um, if you're gonna win street races, that's what you gotta do. And I'm not a fan of, people with these extended bars off the back and added weight and racing with no hoods and shit like that. This is a complete car, has a hood, has bumpers, has wind the windows work. We can go to the drive-thru, we can go to Sonic. This thing is pretty cool. The only thing um, so far this year, I don't see anybody out running this car, but um, there's always somebody faster. All right, so let's take a look at the car. We got 17 inch RC comps on the front got a 15 by 12 in the back yes the car is mini tubbed um it's got a 28105 non-w on it take a look at the interior it's uh it's your normal fox body mustang stock dash it does have the holly display on it so we've got a precision shifter for the power glide 
So, you know, you see all these buttons on here. You know, we got the trans brake. We got the right blinker. We got the left blinker. You know, we've got the go fast button. So we got a scramble button on it. And then I just had to add this extra button, you know. And uh, when you got to talk shit to somebody um, and you just need to throw the hazards on them, what better else? Just grab the button, throw the hazards at them, and uh, let them know that you're king today. When it's a daily driver and it's got to be legal, this thing's, you know, tagged and insured, even though I don't have the tag on it right now. Um, so when you drive around the street, you got to have blinkers and stuff. So that explains that. It does have a stereo in it. I do like listening to music when I cruise around. It's got all the best kicker speakers alive in this thing. So it jams. It rocks out. Hats off to Kicker for hooking me up with those. Um, look, you can drive this car around stoplight to stoplight and never turn on the CO2, and it'll outrun most anything you can leave from a stoplight without doing a burnout. But just in case, we have the CO2 bottle right here behind the seat. And so when we're drag racing on the show, we obviously got to turn on the CO2 because these guys are no slouch. They're fast as fuck, and uh, we got to beat them. This car right now doesn't have a back seat in it. And that was kind of frowned upon on a few of the guys. I know a few of them were kind of shitting on me because I had a fox body, but guess what? I love fox bodies. I'm going to race fox bodies and, until they throw dirt on my ass. So I don't care if they shit on me or not. They can call it a factory race car. They can call it whatever they want to do. But I was born to race fox bodies. I love fox bodies. So uh, they can uh, kiss my ass on that. But I am going to put a back seat in it. Um, I want it to have a back seat and to make everybody happy. We kind of want that factory look. Um, and we kind of want uh, to have a full interior. So yeah, it's got Kirky seats in it, but it does have both seats. I can take Daddy Day for a ride when that old junky ass S10 breaks down. Um, I can give him a ride in here. His long ass legs may not fit in the floorboard because the wiring panel's right here, but uh, the changes I'd like to make to this, you know, this next year, like I said, add a back seat. I'd like to move the wiring and stuff up under the dash. Um, another thing that I don't necessarily care for on a street car is side exhaust so this thing has side exit exhaust that's one thing i am going to change for next year is get rid of the side exit exhaust and go go back to full exhaust i'll run the exhaust all the way out the back and make it more of a street style car so speaking of the back let's go check out what we got in the butt obviously I don't have my personal tag on here, but if you take a look, this is all you need to know, and this is all anybody's going to see this season is 405. So that's all you need to see from here. Uh, the car did have a wing on it, did have a parachute on it. I took that stuff off, so it's more of a streetable look. In the trunk, got the big ass fuel cell, so you take your grandma out to dinner, take your best girl out on a date, um, or if you just need to drive around town all night. So whole tank full of E85. Um, you know, if you get that one guy talking shit on Friday night after you leave out back for dinner, um, you can, uh, add a little bit of, you can add a bag of ice to the old intercooler and, uh, we can go even faster. So, um, that's the whole trunk. Obviously I'm not going on vacation. I'm not carrying any luggage in this car because the whole trunk is E85 fuel tank and it is an intercooler, uh, water cell for the intercooler. So that's everything in the trunk. Um, does have my trunk pop rod okay so then if you want to take a look at this thing this is kind of cool this car um i built this car to work on the street and um you know you can obviously look through the window you know it's got some badass speakers and stuff back here in the back um but speakers are not going to give you enough weight in the back so we put the radiator and the fans and all the water is underneath the trunk floorboard of this car. At first, we had some overheating problems. The guys kind of gave me shit because I overheated going to filming and stuff. And uh, But we fixed that. The thing, I feel like we can drive it now. We can drive it 200 miles if we needed to. So, take a look at this. It looks pretty cool. So, it's just got a Ford fan on it. It's got a badass aluminum radiator. Um, obviously, you can tell it does have a stock 8.8 .8 in it with 411 gears. Um, got the old sand tough shocks on the back and uh, got the old Holly fuel pump. And this is where I think makes this car work that much better. It just has uh, a little added weight to the ass end and uh, 
makes them 28105s hook a little bit better. So um, kind of a cool deal, a little bit different. I've seen other cars that have the radiators in the back. I'm just not a fan of the guys that add a radiator so they can go cruise it and then they take off the radiator and try to put the whole front end back together. I'm not about that. Um, so this thing is permanently mounted and the radiator is just in the back. It just is what it is. So that is what we're racing on the extreme daily driver of street outlaws um i hope you guys like it this season so far you know we've seen two episodes i think both of them are great um you know there's no one that can beat everybody but uh if they're you know this is a purpose-built car and i think with with the added touches on the suspension that i've done at mike duffy race cars and sand tough struts and shocks uh I think this car is uh, going to be the car to beat for a couple years, maybe longer than that. So um, the haters can hate, and uh, but I'm a Fox Body fan for life. So, um, you know, hell, I'm going to street race it until I, I if, if, you know, once I can't win any races, then we may do some upgrades. But right now, um, until people can catch me and they can outrun me, then uh, I'm going to leave this car the way it is. But I am going to, before it comes out next season, I am going to tear it down, send it out to my buddy in Amarillo, Mike Crisp, and uh, I'm gonna let him paint the thing. I, lo I love the color, so I just want it to, to be a clean ass car. Like I said, I wanted to do something that was affordable. I love the Fox bodies. I didn't buy it just because you can buy some of them pretty cheap, um, but you can go out and buy, you know, a Fairmont or a Fox body, or, you know, like I say, the Chevelles and stuff are getting higher, but this car legitimately, you know, Gen 2 stock Coyote, you can buy in the salvage yard, you know, average price, probably 7,500 bucks. You can buy this car, put your cage in it, put a roll bar in it, don't put a cage in it, whatever you want to do. But really and truly, like you can build this thing in your garage and uh, buy a couple turbos for precision, find somebody to tune it, put some Holly stuff on it. But really and truly, you can build this exact same car for 30, 35,000 and go race all your buddies and kick their ass on the street. So this is not, you know, a $200,000 race car. This is just a badass street car. I put the money into the suspension because I'm trying to be one of the fastest guys on the streets. You know, I spent about 10 grand on suspension stuff and, and change stuff around and, and making sure the weight bias was right and make sure this thing works how I want it to work. So I spend a lot extra money, but you don't have to spend that money. These cars work with without all that high dollar stuff. So I just was trying to be the fastest, not just compete. So uh, anyway, yeah, let's go for a drive.